time is over, motherfuckers. <laughs> you ain't never heard no shit like this in your life. You think it's a game? You, you think, think it's this a is some type of game, game bitch? <laughs> Turn around, let me look it from your neck down to your navel. Shorty, you look ready. Forget the bed. I'ma lay your body right here on the table. I go get the camera. We can make them. Welcome to another episode of Playtime is over. You do. <laughs> Jump right out the shower into a jacuzzi, giving you what your body wants. What episode is this? 13? <sighs> This is 13, right? Yeah. Wow. So, <laughs> what's going on, y'all? My name is Kirk Valentino. And my name is Valange. And welcome back to another episode of Playtime is Over, episode 13. For y'all motherfucking asses, born stunner flow, consistently winning while all you bitches come and go. So... Oh, fuck. Oh, give me a phone. You know the drill. <laughs> so, it smells really good in here. It does. It smells really good. Uh, we got a lot. We got a lot of shit to talk today in a very small amount of time. Yeah. But we before we get into our shit talk, I wanted to get into how good last week's episode was. Yeah. Last week was a good show. It was. It was like that wasn't even last. That was like it was a week before last yeah. week. We did part two. We took a oh, little. Yeah. We took a little breaky we had break. A little break break. But. but that was a good fucking episode. First of all, Tahoe is a class act. Mm -hmm. Like, this man didn't know me from nowhere. Mm -hmm. He got on the show. He did what he does best. He was he was potting. Mm -hmm. He was potting with us like it was it was nothing. It was such a natural flow of good energy, good vibes, and healthy conversation. And it felt like I knew the nigga for years. Mm hmm and I mean, well, you you have known the nigga for years. <laughs> <laughs> did you it see showed. how? Did you see how blown away he was? He was very much blown away about how much. Did you see when he was reposting it? He was like, "Yo, yeah, everything." Yeah, that like if you go on like my Her Mount, fuck around. my Mount Rushmore of people that I look up to and I fuck with, and I look at how I would want to structure my podcast. Tahoe is like, he's up there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, of course I knew a lot of shit about him, you know? Right. But of course he, he wasn't expecting that. Yeah. But and then also too, he gears his, his show towards like, you know, the relationship, the men versus women kind of, you mm -hmm. know, thing. And it's like, I'm gay. Like how does, how did he, so it's like, I could, I could see how I could be the last person that's really on his radar. Right. So he, I know he really wasn't expecting that, mm -hmm. but him and Loon definitely showed up and they potted. Yeah. And um, shout out to them. Shout out to them. So how you been? What's up? That. that was that was amazing. What's up, sis? Um, like what's going on? Like you've been doing a lot of a lot of things. I've been working a lot per usual. Mm, per per usual. usual. I'm always working. Oh fuck, we don't have the soundboard. Oh. Last yeah. week we had a soundboard. We ain't know how to. I ain't know how to act over there. But it's I don't okay. Think we could pull it over here either. So. We'll do it. We'll we'll do it next time. I mean, we yeah. have a soundboard all this other time. So. Mm -hmm. But you've been working. You have some news for us today. Oh, I'm a manager now. My job. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> you a manager? I'm a manager. So like you're like ordering people around, telling bitches what to do. Like is that what we're doing? I mean, pretty much. But I'm really not that like type of manager. So I'm are you like are you like the show. HBIC? Like when you walk in a room, you're like I'm the head bitch in charge. Is that the vibe? I mean, when I walk in a room, regardless, people get that energy. Ooh. But I'm saying, like, I love that. Um. Oh wow! I didn't know that was a clock right there. <laughs> we need that because you know that. we always be trying to figure out what time. For real. Yeah. Yeah. But um. Yeah. Like since becoming a manager, though, I've definitely felt a shift in a lot of energy at my job, and it's like really? it's so weird because I'm not a I'm not a mean person. I've never been a mean person, first mm -hmm. of all, and. I'm so laid back and chill and I just tell like if I tell you to do something I'm not even like saying it like at you I'm saying it to you wait so, so like, you're feeling a shift between people that you were cool with like uh, at uh, the job um I mean I'm, I'm cool with everybody mm -hmm. but in general like I'm closest to just a few uh -huh. So the people who I'm not closest to are giving me weird energy. Okay, now. the people who you weren't already cool with. 
Yeah, well, I'm cool with everybody. Well, the people who you weren't close with. Yeah, the people I'm not close to they, are just giving me weird vibes. Even some people that I'm kind of close to are giving me weird vibes, but nah. It's so maybe it's just I would maybe it's just like an adjustment for them. Maybe they don't know how to handle this this new power that you, but which is like, which is weird because it's like it's not that deep. It's not, but exactly, it's really I don't not know, that. Maybe deep. to them, do you think they wanted that position? They feel like you're like in a position of power. I'm sure some people did. Mm. So And they probably look at me like Why did she deserve it But mm. it's like babe I'm a day one <laughs> <laughs> Babe get it together <laughs> One of one Okay First so. come first serve <laughs> Okay So It's a little weird energy But outside of that You're still like Showing up as the head bitch in charge mm-hmm. And doing what you gotta do mm-hmm. Okay And you came in here Nothing's with gonna a, stop that Nothing's gonna stop that <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so you came in here with a raspy voice. Yeah, because I'm so tired. I wish Don't I, I always? I feel like I always come in here with a raspy voice. I could, you know what it is? You always have a raspy voice, but I can tell that's not your natural rasp. Yes. It's raspy because you're like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> No, because why did I think it was like a rat or something? I, I don't know what like, I thought that was. We both. Oh my I was god. Like, uh-uh. So we had a guest that was supposed to come and. It didn't work out, but yeah. you know, we'll hopefully he'll come next time. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? No, no hard feelings, but yeah. you know, I understand people got lives and things like that. <laughs> I want to ask you this: Would you date a bus driver? Um, I would date a bus driver. So, for those that don't know where this is coming from, and <laughs> I don't be knowing where to think about these. What I don't really be knowing what take to to really get on when it comes to these like men versus women topics because mm-hmm. I I can't really put myself in those shoes because I'm not in that world. Mm-hmm. But there's a clip going around with Ebony K Williams. I love Ebony K. Like yeah. I love her. I feel like she's very articulate. But I think that sometimes you know how I always say most people are dumb. Yeah. Sometimes. The real the thing about it is she talks too good and she's mm-hmm. too articulate and it's going over people's heads yeah. and they're only hearing I wouldn't date a bus driver. They're not hearing exactly everything else that she's saying. And not to say that maybe it's okay. Like if you don't agree, I get it. Mm-hmm. I, I kind of fucked with what she was saying. Like I mm-hmm. I understood what she was saying. Not that I'm like super like I'm all at genius level, you know, lawyer, mm-hmm. understand all of that. But I get what she was saying. She don't want to date a bus driver. She's a millionaire. Why of would course. she date a bus driver? Of course. And like that, of course, like standards, like your class, whatever class that you're in, you wouldn't want to date somebody within the class that you're in. You wouldn't want to have to take care of somebody after you worked hard to try to get to where you was at at this point. You know what I'm saying? But in the interview, Ayanla said... Yes, she would date a bus driver if he loves me, if he loves his mother, if he always takes care of me, whatever the case may be, like just always looking out for me, this and the third. And that's something that we desire in general, period. Period. And it's also, but it shouldn't come, it shouldn't be because he's a bus driver. I'm not going to get that. This is my thing. You know what I mean? All right, so the clip, Ebony K. Williams, What a, I don't even know what show this was, but I just saw a clip on Twitter, and Ebony K. Williams talking to Ayanla. It was her show, wasn't it? She brought her on? It was some, but what show is that, though? I don't have a clue. <laughs> no, it wasn't Ayanla show, it was... Ebony's. Yeah, I don't know, but... Oh, Ebony said all of this profound, like, stuff, and, like, she, you know, she's very long-winded, so she's gonna talk, and but she's gonna take a very long time to get to the point. So she's saying all this profound stuff, and Ayanla says, would you date a... <laughs> yeah, she would was you? talking for a minute. She was talking for, like, at least a good minute and 12 <laughs> seconds, and then Ayanla paused for a second, and she said, would you date a bus driver? How? I just <laughs> didn't understand where that came from. Like, I mean, it's a good question, yeah. and it got the people going, but how did you pull that from all of that that she just said? Right. But her response saying... If um, he owns the bus? Yeah, if he owns the bus. You didn't like that response. I, it's not that I didn't like the response, but I'm understanding why people feel a way about her response. Mm. Because the reality of it is, Ayanla said she would because, you know, of the benefits of having love mm-hmm. in the relationship, not necessarily his job title. Right. She just immediately went in and said, oh yeah, if he owned the bus, I'll date him. Mm-hmm. So it gives like 
not gold digger or anything. I wouldn't say gold digger, but it just Maybe gives dating for money. That's like what you, you're you're in the long run. You're looking for somebody for money and not for love. But she's a millionaire. Why would she want to be with somebody that is a bus driver? When you I feel like when you're getting to know someone in general anyway, like say you go on a date, say y'all just met on like on on what, what's what's the apps? Oh God, I'm Bumble or something. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing the app thing. Mm-mm. <laughs> Let's just say you met somebody on the app, right? Mm-hmm. On you Twitter, link up, you link up. He's dressed like he got three million in the bank. He smelled like Givenchy. But usually, he, those be the ones. The ones that got it don't be dressed. The ones that really got it don't be dressed like they got it. Some of them do. Well, in our community, it's a little different. Yeah. But. <laughs> You be surprised them little crypto geniuses. They don't be having yeah, no they, swag. You know, they be having vans. On. Yeah, and yeah. then they be yeah. But still, so mm-hmm. if you go on a date, you see this person, you're only looking at the exterior, mm-hmm. right? You sit down, you're having a conversation with them, and they say that they're a bus driver. But then you look at them and you like, you like you got fifty k on your neck right now. How are you a bus driver mm-hmm. or whatever the case may be? Because you really cannot. You, at the end of the day, you can't count nobody's coins. Mm-hmm. You're, you're at this point, you're counting somebody's coins if you think that them being them not owning the bus means that they're that they don't have the income that satisfies you. Okay, so this is how I feel about it. I feel like as a lawyer, because some people are okay with making more money than like some women are okay with making more money than their partner. She's a fucking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's a lawyer. Uh-huh. She has several platforms. She's written books. She's had shows. She was on reality shows. You think about, she's a successful woman. To yeah. me, when I look at her, I, I look at success. Yeah. She's helping change people's lives or helps people that, I don't know what kind of lawyer she is. So if she's like, you know, a criminal justice lawyer, I don't know what kind of lawyer she is, but motherfuckers need lawyers. She's doing God's work out here, stopping mm-hmm. people from getting real time. Mm-hmm. So... To her, maybe she feels like she knows her her mission in life and she's serving a, you know, like she says, she's doing God's work and what God told her to do. Maybe she feels like she wants to be with somebody that that's creating a greater purpose or creating a bit bigger and better path for themselves than just sitting and doing a nine to five from eight or nine to five. And then that's it. And that, But that doesn't always come with money. What do you mean? You said a bigger purpose for yourself. Mm hmm. You know how many like nonprofit organizations there are out there that really don't get the same pay that she's going to be getting. Mm -hmm. So it's like, but that may, so maybe when she said, if he owns it, maybe that makes it a little different. Cause if you're owning the bus, maybe that comes with a little bit more intent, intention and passion and in care. But if you're just driving the bus, that's not going to be the same thing. Like Mm -hmm. it's two different things. So to me, when she said, if he owns it, I just looked at it different. I didn't get offended. And it was such a small clip. Mm -hmm. Right. People went. That's literally what it was. But I think that's why people were so upset because it just gave off. You're dating for money. You're money. You're not dating for the long run. I think that we should date for money a little bit though. I think so too. Like I why, totally agree. why is she wrong for that? I don't think she's wrong at all. Like I don't think she's wrong the for way that. I'm thinking the, it's just the, the the if he owns it that rubs you the wrong way? It it really didn't rub me the wrong way. It rubbed DJ Envy the it wrong way. It just gave it's just Did, what it's just the perspective of other people. That Breakfast Club interview? Yeah. <laughs> he like he wanted to fight. He was mad. <laughs> I didn't get it. He's like you don't understand you've offended people. Right. But it's like people are always going to find things to mm-hmm. be offended about. So That clip was like 30 seconds. So and they took that and ran with it. I'm sure they didn't watch the whole thing. Yeah. And she's not shit. She she's not shitting on nine to five people or people that drive buses. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know. From my perspective, I would date a bus driver, but I like shit like that. Like I like niggas that's like handy with their hands and shit. <laughs> like I went. I was in the gas. I went to um, put gas in my car just now, and I was in the store. You know, you got to tell them what pump you want them. Yeah. And it was this guy in there. He was like real chocolate. And he was like, <laughs> he was real <laughs> chocolate and he was a construction worker. He had the white shit all over him and everything. And I wasn't, I, cause this is what I, I don't really like to be looking at niggas. Like I don't want them to know that I'm looking at them, mm-hmm. but I was just like, okay, like I like a person that's handy and good with their hands and shit. And he looked at me, but I didn't look at him cause I didn't want him to know that I was looking at him, but I was looking at him. <laughs> 
And he had the white shit all over him. I like shit like that. Mm-hmm. I like barbers. I like a person that's good with their hands. Yeah. But I feel her if she is in her 40s and she's experienced enough to know that I can't be with somebody that doesn't earn enough money. Like, how can you do things for me? How can you protect me? How can you provide? How can you whatever it is that you're trying to do? If I'm making this much money and I'm making more money than you, like that's. But do you see the difference in that, though? Regardless of like. How can they do this and a third without the money? Mm-hmm. It's still shifted back to money. It's not shifted back to um, their passion about making change in the world because mm-hmm. that doesn't always come with money. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, like, granted, I'm sure she's doing God work. It's plenty of people out there doing God's work mm-hmm. and have a passion for it and want more. But not everybody has the resources, the income, or you know, the same stability. That she would have Cause she went to school She went. She became a lawyer mm-hmm. A lot of people Aren't going to college Now mm-hmm. A lot of people Aren't A lot of people In our community Didn't finish college mm-hmm. So she went All the way through And then mm-hmm. she didn't Just stop there She created platforms I really think she's dope And I yeah. like how she speaks And I think that She's too wordy And she's too intelligent And it's going over People's heads And they're getting mad When she talks I think it's because She's a lawyer That she's so wordy Yeah she's wordy as fuck yeah. She took 30 minutes to get to one point. Mm -hmm. Even when she was talking to Ayala, I just feel like Ayala was so random, but you know what it is? She was bored. She ain't (laughs) listening to all that shit she said. She just said, would you date a butt? Like that had, did that have anything to do with, I don't know. That was just (laughs) hilarious, but we could move on. So I wanted to talk about how, have you ever wanted to kill yourself? Mm, I think so. I, I think that it's okay to admit sometimes I think when you. I, I think I wanted to kill myself when I was in high school. Really? <laughs> Were you like depressed? Um. So, as a child, I grew up in a Haitian household, babe. I couldn't do shit. Oh, you were like <laughs> your parents were like very. Yeah, it was very. It was just a lot that I feel like I went through in high school too. Mm-hmm. That I was just like, damn, like. Would it really matter if I was still here? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Like, you know? So, yeah. And, like, especially growing up when you feel like people don't appreciate shit that you got Mm -hmm. or that you do for them. It's like, damn, well, what the fuck is the purpose? Right. Like, what's what's the point of me being here? Right. So, yeah, I had a lot of that growing up. So, yeah, I would say that I I think I had thoughts like that. But I just would never go through with it. Yeah, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I think it's normal to sometimes like I haven't had that thought in a very long time, but it was times where I would just think like, oh, God, like when you just think about life and the expectations you put on yourself, especially mm-hmm. when you're in your 20s. Now, this I know that I would never go through with that shit, but. There were times throughout my 20s, because in my teen years, I think I had, like, fun, like, as a teenager. But when I was, like, in my 20s and I was, like, trying to figure my life out and trying to, like, do shit and things wouldn't work out the way I wanted it to. And I would just be, like, I wanted to be over this feeling and I would think, like, what if I just wasn't here? Mm-hmm. Not necessarily, because I'm, I'm very spiritual, so I'm like, energy never dies. Right. So, obviously, if I'm, I'm not here, my energy is going to go somewhere else. What if I'm happier in the other wherever else exactly. that I go right. because it's so that feeling of that darkness when it comes over you it's like yeah. heavy and it's like I didn't mean to trigger anybody but it's just like yeah. it's like a, a feeling that you can't just shake yeah. that shit comes over you sure. but I do want to say like you get over that eventually you, you do you come out of it you do. and you look back like why the fuck was I thinking I exactly. wanted to do that to myself right. but I just know that I would never go through with that shit. Like, that shit is just ghetto. Like, Yeah, I uh, was having this conversation with somebody, actually. And I literally, I told him, like, sometimes I really don't understand why people want to do that. But then I'm like, wow, I've, I've been through this shit before, so I get it. Yeah. Like, you know, like, the thoughts tend to consume you, for real. And then it's like, it's not something that you could shake. Like, when yeah. some, like my aunt... My aunt suffered with depression for years and I was young. I was really young and she would be so depressed and I would be confused. Like, why are you depressed? Just be happy. Yeah. Like just be, just choose to be happy. Mm -hmm. But some people can't, 
they can't make that choice. It just right. does it. It's not a switch for them. Right. And I feel like once I got older, I was like, oh shit, I, now I see yeah. what my aunt was going through. Mm-hmm. She was going through some shit and she couldn't shake it. And I thought she was like, I was looking at her like, why the fuck are you sad? But she was really going through some shit. And when you, when you hit that, that age of just like figuring your life out and it's not coming together in the way that you thought, cause you know, when we were young, we probably, I'm sure you thought like you was going to be a millionaire by like 25 and you were going to be married and just this bad bitch. And just like, I'm supposed to have two kids by now. <laughs> <laughs> and then we just hear, and it's like, you pass the benchmark and it's just like, yeah. Okay. Like what do I do now? Yeah. But that's in the past y'all. Yeah. I do not want to, sure. I don't want to harm myself anymore. For sure. But it was just, it's a brief thought. It's not like a deep thing. I don't want people thinking I was like really like. I I've always know. thought like if you do, I've always had this thought of like if you transition to another realm, like are you really in another realm? Like would I really completely disappear off the face of this earth or would I just be somewhere else like and still like look the same, be the same? Like, I don't know. I always think that sometimes. Yeah, I, I wonder if, like, if I'm a Leo here, like, if I go into the next one, am I still going to be a Leo? Like, am I going to, am I going to be reborn? Like, as a completely different a person? Family? <laughs> oh, that's another thing, like, because I feel like a lot of people is, like, I feel like it's, like, soulmates. Yeah. Like, we talked about soulmates. Like, you feel like you have more than one. Mm-hmm. Like, it's certain people that's, like, it's no way I didn't know you before. Yeah. Like, you know, some people where it's like, I know, bitch, I know we knew each other like before. And there's some people where it's like, I don't like you. Like, I know I probably knew you in another lifetime and I don't fucking like you. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it smells really good in here. I do want to say that. It does smell really good in here. It does. But um, next. But next. (laughs) Next we have. Next caller. (laughs) So we really have a. it would really be transparent. Listen, the, the notes, the notes ain't that extensive here today. Okay, <laughs> the notes, the list is very scarce. Like we it were, ain't, we were prepared for something else. We were prepared for an, a guest, and then we, but we still had. Oh, but let's talk about this uh, dude that was shooting in Midtown. Oh yeah, tell me about this because you were telling me about this earlier. So apparently, um, I don't really, I really don't know the full details, but why he was, was he shooting? He was shooting. He was shooting at people. Did he he was, actually shoot someone? Yes, he sh- he shot five people and he killed one. <gasps> when was this? His, he's a young black man. Uh, it happened two days ago. <sighs> and he was on the run yesterday. They caught him. Was it, was that the guy with the beard? Yes. He was kind of cute. I saw his mugshot. Yeah, he was okay. I think his name <laughs> Dion. Yeah, it was something with a D. Yeah. I did see that. He was okay. Now, what the fuck? <laughs> I thought like, when I saw I think I was he's like, only this- 24. What the fuck happened, Dion? What, what? Why? Why would you do that? Cheryl, um, apparently they called his mom and dad. His mom was home. She was, you know, completely shocked. His dad was out of town. He was flying back in to see what's going on. Oh, my God. He had a two-parent household? Two-parent household. What the fuck? And... You know how much... I always wanted a two <laughs> Two-parent household. You know, we don't have a lot of those in the black sure community. Don't. And they Dang, oh, what's, two people, no two-parent household, so right? Here. What's going? On? <laughs> what's going on? What happened? Um, I don't know what he, what chemical imbalance he may have. Oh or yeah, what maybe he's, he's mentally through. ill. Yeah, but he ended up he hijacked somebody's car. He ended up in Smyrna next to Campbell Middle School. And I don't want to, I'm not telling my business, but I live right around that area. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so, so he ended up over there. Did he do anything crazy on the school grounds? Because, you know, when you do I don't on- think so. But guess what? Y'all know Spirit in the Cobb County, right? Cobb County got his ass. So, <laughs> so he's locked up right now? He's locked up. He's in Cobb custody. Oh, shit. So, well. <sighs> I- yeah. One thing about Cobb, they gonna get you. They ain't gonna play with you. <laughs> so I'm looking. I'm just looking at the notes that we have for our, our guests here. I'm so mad we couldn't do this guest. Okay, so where do you think? Okay, all right. Let me get out of his his list. I have Lori Harvey on here. I want to. <laughs> I never really got to talk about Lori Harvey on here. Since since we here, we don't got shit else to talk about. <laughs> Let's talk about Lori Harvey. 
What about Lori Harvey? So first of all, Lori Harvey is a badass bitch. Like I was following her before she got popping and Meek, Meek named her in the song and gave her all of that clout. I was like, who is this bad bitch? That's when she was engaged to that soccer player or football player. Whoever, whoever oh, that guy yeah. was. I was just like, who is this girl? I didn't know that that was Steve Harvey's daughter. I wonder what kind of coochie she got going on because niggas want to propose to her back to back. What's his name? Uh, Michael. He Michael wanted to marry her. Did he? So who's yeah. is she breaking up with the people or are they breaking up with her? I honestly feel like she's breaking up with them. What's her sign? I don't know. She's Taurus. Let me see. Because I love this for her. You got help. No, I can't. You know, ain't no service in here anyway. Oh, okay. Whatever. Oh, but they do have the Wi-Fi. But yeah. She, so this is my thing with Lori Harvey. Like a lot of people like to call her a slut and she's a whore and all of that. What's wrong with being a slut and a whore? Mm. What's wrong with it? Oh, she's a Capricorn. Ooh. Oh, she's a Capricorn. Not a Capricorn. Mm. Is she December or January? Where is it at? Oh, not a Capricorn like Steve Harvey. See, you know, Steve Harvey's a Capricorn. January 13th. Mm-mm. Steve Harvey's a Capricorn? Yeah. That's probably why they're so similar. Steve Harvey was a hoe, too. He was a hoe? He was a hoe before he met Marjorie. Steve Harvey? Wasn't he? You think he was a, a fucking prince? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I feel like after we Do had- you know that he left? Uh, Marjorie was his fucking mistress. He cheated on his ex-wife with Marjorie. Did he? And then marry her. Yes. I love that for him. <laughs> exactly. Sometimes you got to marry the mistress. Yeah. But no, I heard that Lori Harvey's mother used to date. No, what was it? Did you, you heard the story, right? Lori Harvey mother. Marjorie. Which is Marjorie Harvey, right? Har- Lori Harvey father <laughs> was a, is locked up and he was a drug dealer and he was getting money in the streets and she was dating his cousin and she stopped the cousin got locked up and she stopped fucking with the cousin started fucking with him and had the baby she had Lori with and then when he got locked up she left him and went with Steve (laughs) (laughs) so I mean she got it honest you know what I mean like she she, raised on this shit yeah (laughs) at this point no but I don't I personally don't think she's a hoe because at the end of the day everybody that she's dated it's always she, been a title attached to it she anyway. Be, she be pulling them niggas. She be pulling them niggas. She, she don't be, be pulling, pulling them She be pulling they them don't be niggas. Average. They don't be no regular niggas. Nobody they, all of them are like, let's she go to like, Trey, Trey songs. songs, Michael B. Jordan, Michael B. Future. Future, I forgot about Future. She had um, the soccer player. The soccer player. The guy from Damson. Snowfall. That's Damson. Is it four or five? That's five right now. Um, she be pulling them niggas. And those are the, the people. Oh, Diddy. Is Diddy. Diddy. Is she it, had Diddy in the sun. Was it the sun? I don't believe she really had the sun. You don't think she had the sun? No. <laughs> I think it was Diddy. I don't I don't think so. No, but no, but she had the sun first before Diddy. They said that, but I didn't see that. You ain't never see that? No. Let me see. Just cause they was in a picture together. I don't think she, she had was the sun. picture with a lot of them. So just because she had a picture with them, she was with them? No. But nine times out of ten, when you see with a nigga by yourself, I'm sure you with that nigga. <laughs> so you think she was Especially with the Especially with the way paparazzi be following him. Like, I don't think she was with the son, but either way, she pulling them niggas. Don't do that. Don't get quiet on the mic like that. Hold on, wait. It's, I'm looking at dating history. Oh, my God. Not you scrolling. Okay. <laughs> Look, it's, he, he's right here. Justin Combs. They really dated? Not Tiana Taylor. I don't know why Tiana Taylor on it. You think she dated Tiana Taylor? She might have like, you know, they be a little threesome. Ooh, that sounds like some good sex. You know, Tiana Taylor and Iman, they look like they got some good sex. I think so. They look, it look like it's just nasty. Who's Memphis Depay? Oh, the soccer. That's the one she was. Yeah, in. that's the soccer player. That's that's the when I started following her in like 2016, mm. and she was engaged to him, or like 2017 or some shit. I don't know. I don't know how the fuck she ended up on, on our list. But but yeah, personally, I don't think what she does is being a hoe because she's living her life. She could date whoever she want to date just because it's on social media. Like you, 
you bitches date niggas all the time. That's what I'm saying. And like, if we had publicly, like, the people that we talk to, we would be right. looked at as hoes, too, because exactly. we talk to mad niggas. I don't talk to mad niggas. <laughs> 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 okay, so I don't got the time. I can't balance. I don't. Mm -mm. I, I ain't mad at you. Mm -mm. So, did you see the white man that whooped the black lady's ass in TJ Maxx when she was trying to shoplift? Oh, when he punched her in the face. <laughs> Wait. Oh no, that's something else. He, I'm thinking Target. He. She was trying to shoplift. She had a. She had a full big ass. Her, her arm. Had bags, just bags and bags and bags. They took mad shit. It was two of them bitches. One bitch got away, and then the other bitch, the white, big white man, he grabbed her and he was fucking her up. And they was teaming up and recording it. Like, get that bitch. Now I'm about to look this up on Twitter. Not right now. Okay. You're going to be quiet, and it's going to be quiet on the mic. So, look, he whipped her ass. Mm -hmm. They recorded it. Nobody helped her. Mm -hmm. but, but then it's just like, you don't even work there. And then after he whipped her ass, and she couldn't take no more of the shit. They Wait, he didn't work there? No. <laughs> <laughs> he did not work there He whooped her ass Like as if he was On the clock He was getting paid To do this He was white you said Yeah Wow And he whooped her ass And after he finished Whooping her ass They gave him a round of applause What Yes And people are saying That he just wanted to Whoop a black woman's ass That's assault At the end of the day you Who gives a damn When she was shoplifting Now she could sue your ass and press charges mm -hmm. She should she Even should. though she was shoplifting Cause she never actually Made it out with the stuff mm -hmm. So technically She didn't shoplift Yeah Technically you don't know What the fuck I'm doing <sighs> That was fucked up That's I crazy. don't care that she was shoplifting Why are you whipping her ass like that No one asked you to do that Even the worker's not gonna do that Yeah you're not supposed Any to Any retail environment That you've ever worked in Or, or I've ever worked in They are gonna tell you Talk Don't so chase them people Speaking of Let them go <laughs> Because if we don't got security What we gonna do what if they got What if they You can carry In Georgia Babe This is my thing Cause I worked security before mm -hmm. Speaking of security I had <clears throat> I had some jobs mm -hmm. Like I When I go down the list Of jobs that I've had It's <laughs> like It don't even What the <laughs> fuck Why was I security And I knew damn well <laughs> That if some shit went down Girl, I was I not I was not doing shit security. I I was I was dead ass security <laughs> In the bank Oh, in the bank? Mm -hmm. oh. And they had me swear and say, like, if some shit go down, this is what you got to do. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I knew damn well. And let anything look like it's about to go down. I'm leaving. I'm I'm sorry. I know I said that I was going to be. No, seriously. I'm not doing it. I don't blame you. Because. You're security. You're not. You're not a uh, law enforcement for real. Listen, so I risking just, your life is gonna be. For I just nothing. came here to get a check. <laughs> tell the people that they can't park in front of the thing, <laughs> and that's it. I'm not doing no extra shit. I had a podcast in one ear, mm -hmm. I'm nodding and saying hi to the other people. You can't park here. That's as good as as I was doing. Mm -hmm. Thank God nothing ain't happened. Thank God. But had it did, they would have learned real fast <laughs> that I wasn't the man for the job because I wasn't. <laughs> I'm not. Mm -mm. So you never had somebody walk in there with an anonymous note to no, cashier? Because if they did, I would have. I would have been out. To the bank teller. Remember that happened and what's his name? Ryan Coogler and they like call the cops. The guy who wrote Black Panther. Oh yeah. And they like called the cops on him, but he yes. he wasn't even. He was trying to take out five hundred dollars or some shit. He I was trying it was to five thousand. Yeah, five thousand, and he was like trying to buy weed or some shit. He was. Th oh, that's what he was trying to buy. I, I mean, I think I told myself that. <laughs> he was trying to buy weed mm. He had to pay the weed man And he gave them a note He didn't want to make it obvious And they called the cops on him And they arrested wow, him Remember yeah. they locked him They like handcuffed him That was fucked up And they did mm. that Because he was black So how did you feel about The Met Gala Um I'm slow Well not slowly I'm really just not slow. You're not into the Met Gala I don't really care anymore Are you crazy I used to love the Met but it just got I just feel like there's a shift in the energy now. Like, mm, it's just, get into that. It's okay. It's just a little mm, kiki. 
was looking good as fuck though. Kiki Those mom Palmer. boobs. Yes. Kiki, I love She Kiki looks Palmer. great. I love Body. her transition. I love it. Because I used to think she was annoying. Remember that phase where she was yes. like trying to prove that she was mm-hmm. talented and everybody or was just funny. like, girl, we know you're <laughs> talented. Yeah. You doing too much. And then like she kind of grew out of that. And now mm-hmm. whoever she is now, I love her. Yeah. Like, and she's I a feel mom. Like she's now. so much more at peace. Her being a mom is just really bringing out that she's glow a boy for mom. Real. She's really she's yeah. Really, it's really cute. I love that for her. Carisha, I think, was my favorite for the night. Carisha and Diddy, like I like what they. Diddy looked like he was hot as hell. Yeah, it did look hot. I don't even. They talking about the question that he asked on the red carpet is what made him start sweating. I don't. Why think, was he acting like this? I don't know, but he was perspiring heavily. I'm sure Carisha know that they. That's not no real relationship. He knows she know. We know that that's not a real thing. I don't know why, but it's I just, just think they friends. They not really together. I mean, and yeah. he just had a baby. Like, come on, definitely just had a baby. <laughs> he living his life. She living her life. Why are you fucking sweating like that? But I just feel like when you make scenes on social media over a nigga, it just kind of gives that energy. Like, yeah, I'm gonna be his stupid bitch forever. <laughs> like, so I'll be think, his dummy forever. So you think when she did all of that on Twitter, I think it was just like you didn't have to if you was just gonna delete stay. delete all your pictures of each other. And then go back and then post new ones. That honey bun was good that we had. That honey bun was good. I was trying to tell you, you know, they had that one of my jobs that I was at. And I was considering. They had <laughs> that the, Kirk changed the subject like that. I was in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a young love. But would you date a bunch of <laughs> So I was gonna I quit the job But they had these Bomb ass honey buns in there And I was thinking about (laughs) Popping up at the job (laughs) And using a vending machine (laughs) Cause they didn't have The honey buns nowhere else (laughs) So I was gonna go there The ghetto But anyway (laughs) So I love This is what I love I hated Rihanna's hair But Rihanna's the queen of the mat Yeah But I feel like she could've Did a little something with the hair She could've did a little Finger wave or something But yeah, I love how ASAP Rocky just like stands to the side. That's the kind of relationship I want. Yes, that's the kind of fucking relationship I want. Where you yes. just, you know what I he mean? He doesn't try to take any type of spotlight from her. He already know that she gonna shine anyway. But it's like you know, like he's not a thirsty groupie type of nigga. Yeah. Like he's he's so laid back, and that's why I really like them together. Yeah, because I feel like they they really match. Like they're a perfect mix. Honestly, they should have been together. Yeah, I feel like she needs somebody that could just sit back and, you know, she makes more money than he makes. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's not all about money. But this is the thing. He's not like no bum ass nigga. He he got his own stuff going on. So it's just like at what point the dating pool, who the fuck is Rihanna really going to date? Mm -hmm. Like she them old stuffy ass people that's making the type of money she making. She don't want them niggas. She want a nigga that got some swag that's, you know, that's going to fuck her real good. Like, so I feel like you got to like kind of like dumb it down a little bit and, you know, it happens. It's still still crazy to me that she's about to have, she's about to be a, a mom of two kids. I want her to have one more. You want her to have one more? It's so crazy how we just speak for what we want for people's bodies, right? And what they want for their life. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm just waiting on some somebody <laughs> in my life to have a baby. Mm. Like, no one, none of my friends is having babies. Like, what the fuck is going on? I'm ready to be a godparent or like an uncle, you There's know? Nobody to have babies with right now. What do you mean? Like, I just feel like it's just... They uh, fucking, they could have babies if they want to have babies. I'm sure, but... I'm just ready for a nephew, a niece... A god kid, like wherever you are, whoever's the first god kid or niece or nephew is getting spoiled from me like crazy. Like I need one. Well, tell your brother to do it. I've been telling him for years. He's taking his time. (laughs) Like what the fuck? I'm ready to have some type. And then, but I don't want it to be my kids. Like I, I want to give them back when it's time (laughs) to give them back. I don't want like a full. That's how I feel. Like I want to. I do want to have kids, but I just I want to be able to give the kid back right now. Yeah. I don't want to. Our generation is not having kids. Mm-mm. It's not well, like... Mm, I feel like they are, but it's just like... It seems like they were having more kids back then. Like everybody... Earlier. Yeah. Sure. And way more. So if they had one, yeah. they would at least have like four. Literally, like our grandparents at least have like... People I know who have like 10 siblings. First of all, like I, I used to complain about having one sibling in the house. 10 is crazy. 10 is crazy. But I mean, you know... 
You gonna make it do what it do. We are looking for a male co-host. Let me let me say this. So I kind of want to have like I want to be transparent with our audience. Mm-hmm. I kind of want to have like a nigga with a, two baby mamas. Remember I told you this already. Yeah. I wanted a nigga with two baby mamas, <laughs> and this is why we got to go to Club Onyx. But you don't like to pay for parking. That's your fucking problem. You don't want to pay for parking. Oh my God. <laughs> you don't want to fucking no, pay for parking. No, you did not expose me like that. No, I don't like she to pay don't for like parking. She like to pay for parking. She be having because... an attitude when it's time to pay for parking. Because I will pay for the parking. She will pay, but she gonna give. She gonna give but a hard time in the beginning. I just don't like paying for parking because I feel like what is the purpose of paying for parking? Y'all gonna have us parking this rinky dink ass um, random- liquor store parking lot. Y'all charging people to park in a public. Like parking lot, $50. That's crazy. Cash to me. at me $50 right now. That's crazy to me. And that's exact. And I always say that that's exactly how Atlanta make all their money off the fucking parking. Yeah. Because they tax on this parking. Mm-hmm. You could park all the way down the fucking street and they still gonna make you pay $45. <laughs> like, she really don't like to pay for parking. That's now. insane. Well, I don't even know how we got here. Let me, wait, wait. <laughs> let, let me, let me say this. It's a spot called VODs, right? It's, it's dudes that it's uh, parking on the um, main street, right? It's parking in front of VODs. You could park there. You got to pay mm. or whatever. But it's a light right there on the corner. As mm. soon as you cross that light, it's more parking. But we cross the light now. So we're not, we're no longer on the premises, babe. Mm-hmm. It's people that stand there on the other side of the light that try to make you pay for parking. They know my name by now. I'm not paying. This is a public fucking street. <laughs> Air horn for that. <laughs> Fuck. I ain't mad at it's that. It's a public street. I'm not paying for that. So. I love that. Do you feel nervous about them trying to do something to your car? No. Like when you come back, like you'll have a tire missing or something? No. Okay. Mm-mm. I love that for you. I mean, regardless, if that shit happens, thank God for insurance, you know. But also, it's Atlanta. I'm sure it wouldn't even be them. It would probably be somebody else. So we got to go to club. We got to go to the club because, well, yeah. you don't never not work. Mm-hmm. But we have to find our male co-hosts. We need to complete this. That this. Circle should, we have that we, a, should we have a casting call? How are we going to do that? I don't know. I think that would be dope, though. How do you, like, would they even want to come? Like, I don't know. We need a nigga. We need a lit nigga on the show. I really want him to be a DJ because I want to get into music combo. Mm-hmm. But we need a nigga on the show. We need a man's voice, a masculine presence. You know what I mean? Yeah, but... And also, Kirk said he wants you to be fat. He could be fat. He don't have to be fat. I kind of wavered on that. But I would prefer for him to be fat. <laughs> Not too fat. But, you know, a little a little heftiness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're, I, okay. That's just how I feel. I don't we know. Need... If you want us to make a flyer or something, should we make a flyer? <sighs> <laughs> I don't know. We need the man in the room, though. Yeah. Like, I loved how with, when Tahoe was here, we, it was just like a balance. Oh, it was really good. Like, yeah. let me get back on the mic. But, um, yeah. So, we looking for that. Mm-hmm. So, hopefully by, like, June, we'll have our male co-host. My birthday is June 23rd. What are you doing for your birthday? I'm going to have a section at my job. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, so come through. Yes, I'm going to come the fuck through. I can't wait. <laughs> okay, so what about when Sexy Red... We was trying to get Sexy Red on the pod. Oh, speaking of Sexy Red, we need to talk about that. She's coming on the pod? I don't know how that's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> we, ain't, we ain't that popping yet, but don't worry. We're we'll, we, we going to get there. Yeah, she going to try to charge us a booking fee or something. I, mm, I don't, We ain't up there yet, babe. I don't got no fucking fees. We got to get like a, all right, well, that's, I guess that's off mic combo. We're going we gonna to get into that. But I guess because we had such a great episode last time that we get now, now this episode is like dry. <laughs> this episode is so dry. Like, I'm like, <laughs> so Kirk. three month rules. That's, you want to talk about that? Let's talk about three month rules. So I decided that it's going to be 30 days instead of 90 30 days before you fuck the nigga 30 days still not that long though It don't gotta be that long Not cause 90 is crazy 90 is But crazy. 30 I think 30 is a good You know somebody for a month And then Because you ever gave up your pussy And then you was mad that you gave your pussy up Cause they ended up being a piece of shit You wanted to take your pussy back 
I mean, I was in relationships with people for years, and I wanted to take the pussy back, honestly. And you wanted to take it but, back? But, yeah. That's yeah. what I'm... Well, okay, that's not what I'm saying, but I'm saying yeah. you never talk to somebody in the beginning, you have sex with them, and then once it's over, you just like... That was just <sighs> all a waste. Yeah. Yeah, I totally... Yeah. And then sometimes the, the sex clouds the judgment because mm-hmm. if they're a piece of shit and then they have good sex, it like kind of like keeps you there wasting time even longer. I think the... And it ends up not going anywhere. I think the only time I've ever wanted to take my pussy back when the shit was whack as hell. Oh, yeah. That, if it's whack as hell, I'm like, damn, you just wasted my time. I feel like I've had so many... I, I, if I could tell y'all stories of just like... Oh, my God. Why all niggas' houses be dirty? I've been to some dirty <laughs> ass... Why niggas... Every, it don't matter if you gay. Every nigga house is nasty. Nah, I haven't. Oh, not every nigga. I feel like I've dealt with some really clean niggas. All right, it like, was one. Really clean. It's one that I'm thinking of. He had a really nice house and it was clean. But everybody else is like, bro, what is happening here? You didn't know you had company. <laughs> like, what was going on? Like, did you have a party? Like, why is it nasty in here like this? And you use the bathroom. It's like, <sighs> <laughs> I'm not like no. Mm-mm. It's just at this point like. <laughs> That reminds me of this TikTok that I saw where this girl said that this guy invited her to come over to smoke and she went and tried to sit on the couch and she sunk into the couch. And the guy, it was like he had a he had a roommate, but it was a, a one bedroom. So um the people in the house at the time, they came out and he, and they was like, Oh, well, I'm a, he was like, Oh, well, I'm gonna just bring my air mattress out here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a real bad bitch. The story's on TikTok. He, but his he must have he probably fucked the shit out of her. I bet you he fucked the shit out of her though. She said she left. Oh, <laughs> it be those with the downtown. I Honestly, I just mm-mm. I can't. If it look crazy as fucking there, babe. But they be keeping the lights off. They be tricking you, and then you get up to you to pee, and then it's like, <gasps> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I've had some horrors. I could tell y'all some stories, but we gonna we gonna save that for another pod. But like I'm like you got about nine three minutes left. Like I said, <laughs> thirty day rule. I think thirty days is good before you before you have sex before with somebody you or fuck. before you think about having sex with somebody before you fuck. You know if you want to fuck somebody. I mean, you yeah, you gonna know if you want to fuck somebody, but but I think thirty I days feel like is cool. naturally when you're attracted to somebody, you are gonna want to fuck them anyway. But it's just like. I feel like we wait, we just, I don't know. I want to change my approach. I feel like it's too, it's too fast and it's fucking, maybe that's fucking everything up. I don't know. That's why you can't be in a relationship. I still, yo, and the way Tahoe looked at me when I said I wasn't, I was never in a relationship, like, but people always do that when I say I've never been in a relationship. That, cause that is weird. I hate yeah. admitting it, but it's fucking weird. Like, what's wrong with me? I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. I still haven't figured it out because it's like, okay, I know I'm not ugly. So that just makes it worse Because it's like You don't even look crazy So what is it mm-hmm. So what it, I don't know what it is But I don't be I don't need, I don't be taking you niggas shit Like that's the thing When you niggas be having Shit going on And you be trying to Act fake abusive And start arguments For no reason <laughs> I'm curving you I'm never speaking to you again Like right. I'm not putting up with this right. So it's like I don't care if the sex is good I'm not a person that Is gonna be like Oh nah I'm staying Because the sex is good I ain't, I, To me personally I haven't had something That that was good Like worth Going through all of that Where you bringing out A level of anger in me That I want to fuck you up And now I'm in an abusive relationship Because the sex is good I've never been I've never had sex That that was that good And you making a face So you've had sex That was that good Nah I'm saying like (laughs) 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 Um, I've just had sex Good enough To just not cut the nigga off But more so To just like Keep on the side When I hit him up I be cutting these niggas I just need it I I don't give a fuck Like I'm the motherfucking prize I'm not putting up With none of you nigga shit You're not gonna have me Questioning myself Making me wonder Like I don't give a fuck At the end of the day Any relationship That I step into I'm adding value So if you can't see that In the very beginning Then you ain't never gonna see it And I don't have time To sit here and make you realize it So it is what it is And that's why I'm still single Because I be cutting These niggas off But for me (laughs) (laughs) No, but like like what I was saying was just like if I already see the behavior forming, I'm I just literally like cut the situation off like yeah, I'm like if he shot his But if we already had 
What would you have done if I can't? I can't. If he shot his ex, I I'm I'm just a per. I have I think I have PTSD for real. If I hear something, and it's something that like say just like you said, he shot his ex. Red flag, bitch. Uh uh-uh, uh, you're not about to shoot me. <laughs> 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 no fucking way. Like seriously, like I just can't. It's just not gonna happen. I can't. I'm gonna be so too you scared. Be, you wouldn't have. Uh. I have I have like trust issues like that. I'm that toxic gonna give me real bad anxiety. I, I thought that was dope. I was like, you shot the nigga, and then what happened? Like, I'm gonna say no more. Like, I thought that was dope. You are toxic. And then he did some <laughs> other shit. Like, don't be like he did some other shit. I just, exactly. Like, See, he the red flag was there, and he talking about he did some other shit. Yeah. Yeah, I just had to. Just, and he and he could have shot your ass too. <laughs> But that he shot his ex for a, I think for a valid reason. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. You think it was valid? I thought it was valid. <laughs> no, like, I really think it was valid. It was Shit. valid. I would have did it too, honestly. Yeah. You said that. You said oh, I would have shot him too. Yeah. You know that clip? They fucking silenced our TikTok clip. Oh yeah, because because I said that he shot his ex. That mm-hmm. was doing really good. It got the, in the first day. It was like 800 views, and then it started, and then they silenced it. Yeah. So now people can't even hear that shit. So they don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> I hope the mic is not picking up Whoever the fuck that is laughing like that Did you put it on Twitter? No, I don't even remember Oh put it on, I think you should put it on Twitter I think I did actually And you retweeted it Oh you did? Yeah you I did. did But Anyway This episode was dry as fuck But you know You got you got some good episodes And you got some bad ones It's okay mm-hmm. I, We definitely weren't prepared To just split To be the two of us So you know Next time it's, It'll be better mm-hmm. But I want to thank y'all for tuning in and fucking with us and rocking with us. And yes. when this podcast blows up, I want to be the number one podcast in Atlanta. Like, yeah. I'm claiming it. And claiming then we're going to go up from there. Like, claiming I want to be it. the number one podcast in Atlanta. We will be. And I just feel like we're going to blow up. Like, I just feel like, you know, I just want to keep working hard and putting out content. Someone told me that my face is meant to be in, like, movies, shows, on the news, on the... In the papers, in the magazine. Okay. Like he was really going in. <laughs> okay. So. I love that. Happen. It's going to happen. I, re- I already see it happening. It's so happen. we just got to keep working hard. And I already know like it's going to be good days and it's going to be days like this where mm-hmm. things don't go as planned. And, and that's okay. The show must go on. Show must go on. But and I it think will. Y'all, and it will. It will always go on, baby. Mm-hmm. But I want to thank y'all again for tuning in. And see y'all bitches next week. Playtime is over. My name's Falange. Oh, let's plug our grams, guys. <laughs> I love plugging our grams. <laughs> My name's Falange on Instagram. It's lafleur.xo. That's L A F L E U R dot X O. And my name is Kirk. I think I want to start going by KV. KV? I think that sounds better. You think? How do you feel about that? I think it's cute. I think I'm going to start going by KV instead of Kirk Valentino. I don't know. I like Kirk Valentino though. I hate my first name. It's you not. I just hate the way it's spelled. I hate everything about it. It's not. That's a whole topic in itself. <laughs> but anyway, my name on Instagram is K I R Q U E V A L E N T I N motherfucking O. Follow me on Instagram and follow me at the KV Show underscore on Twitter. Period. Bye. <laughs>